Hello there. My name is Carlos Arteaga from Cisco Tech. Today, I will show you how to configure threat detection for remote access VPN services on Secure Firewall Threat Defense Managed by the Firewall Management Center. Please note that this feature is available starting with the FDD versions on screen and newer. For this example, we are going to work with an FDD on version 7.4.2.1. However, the procedure is the same for the other versions. Let's get started. First, we need to create a flex config object. For this, we need to navigate on the FMC to objects, then to object management. On the left panel, let's expand the flex config menu and select flex config object. Then click on add flex config object. Give it any name that you wish. Make sure that the deployment option is set to every time and type option is set to append. On the configuration body, let's type the required threat detection parameters. This is just a configuration example. The final configuration parameters can be modified according to each use case. Then click on the save button. Next, we need to create a flex config policy and assign the object that we just created to it. Navigate to devices and flex config. For this example, we are going to create a new flex config policy. But if one is already created, it can be modified to just add the new object. Click on new policy, give it any name that you wish and add the desired FTD. Note that the flex config policy can be created without any FTD and assign one or more later. Click on save. On the left panel, look for the flex config object that was created earlier. Click on the object and then move it to the policy by clicking on the arrow next to it. Finally, save the changes and deploy into the device. This configuration can be validated from the FTD CLI as shown. In case this feature needs to be disabled, just deleting the flex config object or unassigning the policy will not remove the configuration. For this, we need to go back to our flex config object in the FMC. Edit the object and then edit the configuration body with a no command at the beginning of each line. Then, Remove the specific configuration parameters as shown. After this, you may save and deploy the changes. This completes the desired configuration for this video. Feel free to contact Cisco support if any additional information is required. Thank you for watching.